scrap wood. We all have it in our shop and it's so difficult to just throw it away because you paid so much money for that lumber. What do you do with your scrap wood? In today's video, I'm going to give you seven ideas for awesome projects that sell well that you can make with scrap lumber. And actually stick around to the very end because I'm going to, I'm going to give you a bonus one uh, for some of those pieces of scrap wood that are actually pretty big. First up, succulent planters. These succulent planters are so easy to build. They don't even require that much scrap wood, but I'm telling you, they have been one of my best sellers when I'm selling over social media, when I sell at craft shows. People love these. I usually sell them for $20 to $25, and they sell like crazy. I have a video on how I make these succulent planters, so check that out right up here if you're interested in learning more about these. But this is a great way to get scrap wood out of your shop quickly and easily and actually turn that scrap wood into some money. Number two, this is a personal favorite of mine. It is charcuterie boards. Now, these charcuterie boards you can make from a variety of woods like you've seen here. So if you have lots of small scraps, you can glue them all together, plane them down, and cut out some awesome charcuterie boards. And these also sell very, very well. And so I do designs where I cut out a handle with a bandsaw and drill a hole through the end. You can even run some, some leather strap through uh, in case someone wants to like hang this on a wall or something. You can make these if you have larger pieces of scrap wood, you know, that are wider. Just put an accent and then, you know, still cut out a handle. That works really, really well as well. Um, and you know, experiment with different shapes. This is a charcuterie board that I haven't even finished yet, but this is just a, a rectangle. I mean, nothing crazy about it. It's got, you know, some accent pieces here. This is actually some exotic wood. I don't know off the top of my head what it is, but you can experiment with lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes, lots of different types of wood. Charcuterie boards sell like crazy. And once again, if you want to know my process for how I make these, how I finish these, Check out this video here. I go in depth on how I make these charcuterie boards that sell so well. Number three, coasters are an amazing uh, project that you can make with scrap wood. And the nice thing about coasters is it does not take a lot of uh, wood at all to make a good mini coasters. And so even if you have tiny bits of scrap wood, this is a project that I go to when I'm trying to get the smaller pieces of scrap wood out of my shop. Now I have a few different designs that I always love to, to make. One is kind of the chaotic long grain coasters here. And what I do is I just make long glue ups of you know, random uh, widths and random types of wood, plant them down, cut them up, and yeah, pretty simple to make. I have a finishing process, and uh, that, that's that for, for the long grain coaster. Another uh, slightly nicer type of coaster is the epoxy coaster. What I like to do is take some live edge scraps, turn the live edge to the inside of the coaster, and then fill it with epoxy, almost like it's a miniature um, conference table like you'll see uh, people make a lot of times that are super popular. And then the simplest kind it was uh, to make coasters out of reclaimed uh, barn wood. And that's what this is. Whenever I'm selling these, I usually sell them in packs of two, and I tie them up with twine. I just think it presents really nicely. And I'll sell these two coasters for about 10 bucks. Coasters sell really well, but another thing that I do a lot of times when I'm at a craft show is I'll use them to push bigger sales. So I'll say something like, hey, if you buy a large charcuterie board that's $70 or more, I'll give you two coasters for free or something like that. And uh, that works really, really well. In a few weeks, I'm going to be posting a video on how I make coasters. So uh, if you're interested in seeing that video, hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll be notified when the video is live. I'll walk through my process for making all of these types of coasters and more. Number four, this is a really fun one that I did not know about until recently, and it is bottle openers. Now, these are great gifts. They sell really well, once again, at a low price point, and they're so simple to make. What I did here is I cut out kind of a, a one-handled shape. I don't even know what this is, figure eight, on the bandsaw. Take the router to it, sand it down, drill a hole in it, and insert one of these flush bottle openers. 
put a leather strap on it and it works amazing. And a few minutes ago when I was talking about coasters, I mentioned that I'll be making a video soon about how I make them. And you'll want to subscribe, you'll want to check out that video because I'm actually going to combine the bottle opener concept with the coaster concept and it should be, uh, should be pretty cool. So, so stay tuned for that. Number five, cutting boards. Now you've probably, uh, if you've been woodworking for any amount of time, made some cutting boards and it's, maybe it's been one of your first projects if you're like me, but they still are amazing, an amazing use of scrap wood. And if you look at this, this cutting board here, which I have a video on, of course, right up here in the corner, there's tons of different types of wood and it's beautiful. I mean, it really, really is. This cutting board would probably sell for about $125 but I made it out of just little bits of scrap wood, 18 inches long, one inch wide. And I got, I got my shop cleaned up and I made an amazing cutting board. So uh, not all cutting boards have to be this complicated. This is a chaotic ingrain cutting board. This is kind of a level three on the advanced level of cutting boards. But I have a playlist that's linked in the description that I kind of walk you through how to make a beginner cutting board an intermediate checkerboard cutting board, and then a level three more advanced chaotic cutting board like this. So if you're interested in, in where to start with you know, using your scrap wood to make cutting boards, check out that playlist in the description. Before we move on to our next scrap wood project, if this video has been helpful for you, if it's inspired you to get in the woodworking shop, hit the like button real quick. It does nothing for you, but it helps me out. So I can continue to bring you great content. Thank you so much. Let's check out the next scrap wood project. All right, number six, and I bet you've never seen this one before, a K cup holder. These are awesome projects that are super usable. I have one in my home and I use it every single day because I always have a K cup coffee in the morning. What I love about this design for the K cup holders is if someone has uh, different types of coffees that they use, they can see the different types of K cups uh, right there as opposed to them all being jumbled up in a drawer or something like that And of course I have a video on how I made this right up here in the corner It's also in the description check that out. Let me know if you make one I'd love to know so comment below if you decide to to make a cake up holder number seven This may be the simplest of all of them, but they still sell really well and it is candle holders These are great to take to craft shows. They're great to uh, have right around Christmas time and and Thanksgiving time to sell on social media or if you have a website because they're a low price point but they sell really really well I cut these out of some oak I didn't even worry about putting finish on them I was just trying to keep my material cost very low you can make them out of uh, triangular shapes square shapes you can make a long one that has multiple candles in it my one tip that I would recommend I would encourage is when you buy candles use the candles that have glass on the outside. Um, I have seen people do just wax straight in the, in the wood. But I just think, you know, that's fire next to wood. It just makes me nervous. So I always buy the candles that have the, the glass encasing and I feel a lot better about that. But candle holders, they sell great, great use of scrap wood. Now that is seven projects that you can make with smaller pieces of scrap wood. But maybe you're thinking, wait a second, Ben, I've got some giant beams and, and cutoffs of mantles that are sitting in my shop. I don't know what to do with them. They look great, but I don't really want to cut it down into smaller bits of, of wood. What do I do with those? Well, here's one idea for you that you may laugh at, but I have it in my home and I love it. And it is this, a toilet paper dispenser. These are very easy to make. I like to, whenever I have a mantle cut off, highlight the, the awesome look of that wood add a little gas pipe to it and you can put it in a bathroom and it gives a nice rustic uh, industrial steampunk look. Once again, you may laugh at that, but always think outside the box when you're trying to decide what you want to do with scrap wood. And sometimes you don't need to make a lot of cuts. You just need to add something to it uh, or use it as a base for something like a lamp or a toilet paper dispenser, dispenser, toilet paper dispenser. And it can be very useful and you can even sell them. Okay, so now here is the question. What did I miss? I know that probably many of you have ideas of, of projects that you make with scrap wood that I don't know about, and I would love to learn from you. So if you wouldn't mind, let me know in the comments. I look at all of them. Uh, what do you make out of scrap wood? I'll be checking those out, and I can't wait to see what ideas I can learn from you. 
Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe for future woodworking videos and we'll talk to you very soon.